Good evening and welcome to Highlands Basketball. I am Kevin Scott. Joined alongside me is my partner in crime, Jeff Agenziano. How you doing tonight, Jeff? How you doing, Kevin? I'm doing well. Tonight, the Somerville Highlanders are coming in with a 9-2 record overall. Uh, they're hosting the Beverly uh, High School Panthers. And what do you guys see about the game, Jeff? Kevin, this is the ninth win in a row, as you just said, for Somerville. This is a game that all the other wins don't matter. Your hoop fest win and championship doesn't matter. This is a team that beat you last year in the round robin term you have this year and la in, in last year. This is a team that was the number one seed in Division II North. This is a team that when you lost at Woburn last year, you had a chance to go there and knock them off for beating you during the year. So some was a lot of redemption against this team. They want to beat them for knocking them off last year during the regular season. That loss at Beverly gave, took away a home game from Somerville. So a lot of thing, a lot of redemption that Somerville wants against Beverly, and this is the time to do it. You got to get your 10th win right now to get into the tournament for sure. It's going to happen, yeah, but tonight happen. is the one. You get your 10th win. This is a statement win for Somerville if you get that one tonight. Uh, looks like we're going to get the starting lineup so real quick. Real quick, Jeff, though. Uh, what, what's the keys for uh, the Highlanders uh, for winning this game tonight? The key for Somerville is get out on the break and run this team. Okay, they have a couple of injuries. They play a very short bench. They're only going to play about six guy players around the whole team. So they want to run. You want to get offensive boards and don't let them get on the glass because they are great shooters and they're going to get your putbacks. Can't let them have open shots. That's the bottom line. No open shots for Beverly because that's last year. They killed you in Beverly, which is open threes, open threes. A lot of seniors on this team, so look for them to be very methodical. Look for that team to constantly pound the ball to score inside or outside. Good evening, Let's Jones, get the starting lineup for the Highlanders the and Beverly basketball game. We're going to the field house for tonight's Somerville High School men's bat boys basketball clash taking on the Panthers of Beverly High School. Man, Summer leads the way in assuring sporting events are safe and enthusiastic, giving honor and respect to student athletes, coaches, officials, families, and a fan by appreciating outstanding plays by all teams and athletes, supporting decisions by coaches and officials, showing you are a role model on the court and in the stands, displaying appropriate behavior in the stands at all times, using only positive language and gestures, moving your hat or hand standing to the entire national anthem, entering and exiting areas safely. Not doing your part to assure several athletic events are safe and positive will result in being told to leave and be banned from local sporting events. Several high school they smoke in the green facility. Use of these products on school grounds will result in removal from the contest. In case of emergency, members of the game day staff will be directing the best possible exits. Section 1 will exit out of the emergency exit located near the bleachers. Section 2 and 3 will exit out the side door, so the same door you use to enter the gym. Please throw a seat down the back stairway and exit the building on the ground level to Medford Street Lots. Handicapped guests and team that must exit out the atrium doors into the parking lot area, please look at the wall behind you to identify which section you are seated in. Thank you. And now let's get the starters beginning with the visitors from Beverly. We begin with a, seven, a senior center, number 34, Micah Davies. A senior guard, number three, Koskami Abreu. A senior guard, number 23, Kyle Kamara. A junior forward, number 10, Jack Crowley. And a junior forward, number 21, RJ Bologna. The head coach of the here we go, this is assisted by Jeff Downey, Adam Rousseau, and Andrew Mornsey. And now the starters for your Somerville Highlanders. And we begin with a senior guard, number four, Jakari Ross. A senior forward, number five, Jimmy McEwen. A freshman guard, number 13, Marcos Montiel. Junior forward number 21, Jelani Hale. And a junior forward number 35, Sam Pecciato. The head coach of your Highlanders is Mark Antonelli, just by Matt Desmond, Ian Cormack, Matt O'Donnell, and Ricardo Bonhomme. Fans of the Sideways, will you please rise for the playing of our national anthem.
national anthem, Jeff. Let's get the starting lineups, please. Going the starters again for Beverly, Crowley, Abreu, Malumba, Kamara, and Davies. For Somerville, your mainstays, they have started every game this year. All 11 games, Jakari, Marcos, Jimmy McEwing, Jelani Hale, and Sam Pexoto. Your officials tonight is Dave Kustalis and Dave Kuzma. Kuzma will be your umpire, and Rustalis will be your referee. Again, this is not for the overall north and south, as they are in different sides. Beverly's in the north, Somerville's in the south. And there we go, then jump in the ball right now. It's Makai Davis, Davies, and Sam Pixoto. And the Somerville Highlanders win the possession. The past couple of games we've been doing, Jeff, the Highlanders have come out real slow, real sloppy to start the game, but somehow they pull it out. Let's see if they change the whole aspect of that right now. McEwen can't finish, rebounded by Jelani. Jelani, high off the glass, bricks it. Ball's gonna be out of bounds, still gonna be Highlanders ball. Under out of bounds for Somerville, if you look at their bench, you have Maya Joseph is back on the bench, not active tonight, but he's sitting there supporting the team. Great to see until he punches the scores table. Almost knock on the light. Did he break it? Nope. Almost. Marcos brings it in, double pumps for two. Marcos says, I'll break your defense, any defense, and it's far ahead, Kevin. It's not even close who the best player on this team is right now. Oh, should have been a travel, no call. Nice looking jumper there by number 10, uh, Jack Crowley for two. Jakari finds McEwen. McEwen gets a pick, picks up his dribble, top, top of the key to Marco, swings it around the perimeter. Sam's looking for the pick. Jakari doesn't use the pick. Up back to Jimmy, to Marcos. Marcos goes down to the baseline, gets bumped. No call, no travel, fall travel. away. Should have been a foul, Jeff. Yep. Ball's going to be out of bounds, Highlanders ball. But if you're not going to call a foul, it's a travel on Marcos for putting down his pivot foot. Right. Pass by Patrick Turafont there on the baseline. Former assistant coach in the house talking to Nicole Vili over there. Jimmy finds Marcos on the wing, up top, moving around the perimeter. Finds Jimmy. Jimmy doesn't have anything. Gets a pick by Sam, pulls up. Back not, rims it. Not Jimmy's game at all. Not at all. Wide open. That's too easy. All mess with Jack Crowley. Yeah, Parents are sitting me. behind but, us. But yelling, Jeff, thank you. You just said it. Like, I mean, I know you, you've been scouting them. I'm sure Coach Antonelli's been scouting them. This team knows that they have shooters out there. Get out there. Yeah. There's Marcos. He thinks about it. He short rims it. Falls away. Should have followed his shot. Rebounded by Jelani. Marcos looking to push it. It gets tipped away. Time out, Mark. 7 2. It's still too early to call a timeout, Jack. Oh, well, he's bringing it Owen. He knows he needs some more athleticism. Sam's coming out. Sam's been laid on a lot of screens that they've been calling to try to run these, run Salem right now, and Sam's completely out of position. Marcos, a little hesitation, picks up his dribble, finds Jimmy. Jimmy dumps it down to Sam. Sam's going to power move, off the glass, can't finish, gets his own rebound, Jeff. He gets hacked. Foul's going to be underneath the basket. Here comes Jake as well. We have a great PA announcer tonight. Foul's Cal, number three. We should hire him full time. That is, it's got a brave. Matt Newtime Newton. First time first. Newton. Into the game now for some rules, number 10. Owen Thompson at number 23. Chasing Noonan calls the game the way it should as the PA announcer. He doesn't follow the rules. No need to. Marco pulls up, bricks it. Nobody's boxing out Jack. Yeah, Beverly's a quick moving team. Very strong and patient, too. On the high low. Head fake. 
Fouls on the team. Yep. Jake on the floor, his first, team's first. Fouls called the number 23 of Somerville. That and this is, is the Santana. game, Kevin, you look at the schedule. You see all the other first. ones are, all the other ones are gravy, as they say. This is the team that you're looking to beat out again for doing what they did to you last year. It's the best team right now that they have to play. Yeah. Jack Crowley, 4 two. Every time Crowley scores, the person right in my ear yells, thank you. Moving it around now. Here goes Marcos. Marcos brings it in, dumps it down to Jakari. There you go. Nice shot there by Jake Santana. Ooh, a little crossover. Oh, ball's going to be out of bounds. Piling his ball. Turnover on number three, Abreu. As he falls to the ground, should have been a turnover on the fall to the ground. Julio Rivera at the door, once scored 28 points in the first half at Revere in the year of 2002-2003 season. Careless, careless passes that just throwing the ball away. Well, Highlanders are only down by five, Jeff, so it could be a lot worse. Kamara out, 23 in. 15. Dangerous handoff, Boris. It's a bad shot, but they get the, get the offensive rebound. Lumba offensive board, that's three. Grab the board, guys. Basket counts and a foul. Abreu. Good, Three offensive Abreu. boards on that play, Jeff. Yeah, incredible rebound by Abreu as he came crashing in. Fouls Jalen Off the miss. Somerville rebound. Somerville. First seconds. Fouls on Marcos, his Got first. With line for Beverly. He has four, looking to make it five. There you go, he boxes out. Oh, throws it away. However, on the glass, there's no been be be better than Jelani right now for this team. They got lucky the ball went off of uh, Jake's yeah. foot. The, the zebra didn't even see it. Marcos. Ooh. Oh. No control. No body control whatsoever rebounder, on that play. Rebounder, rebounder, Brew. But Falls wow. almost to the ground, a brew basket Scotty counts. Man, hey, Coach Antonio is going to call a timeout with three, 22 to go in the first quarter. Highlanders are down by eight points. So for the nine points, excuse me. So going over the re weekly Super Six standings by the Boston Herald in Division Two North. Number one is Belmont. Number two, Belmont is 12 and 0. North Andover is 10 and 3. Salem is 10 and 2. Arlington is nine and three. Somerville is ranked number five at nine and two, and Beverly is seven and three. That shows Kevin how close the standings actually are. You lose this game, you fall to six. Beverly goes to fifth. The rankings. So that's the rankings in the Boston Herald, Division One North, where Somerville should be. Lynn English eleven and one. Central Catholic ten and three. Lowell thirteen and two. Andover ten and three. Lawrence eleven and three. And Medford, the biggest surprise, Medford is 10 and 2 in the top six. Huh. Lawrence is going to fall. Their best player is not with the team right now, so Lawrence is going to fall a lot shortly. So those standings will change rapidly as now McEwen is going to check in next dead ball along with Muhammad. I never understood that. I don't mean either. Why, why call a timeout? You call a timeout. You're on the bench. You have everybody on the bench. Marcos breaks it. Big board. Call a foul. Thank you. Foul will be on Abreu, his second team's second. Jake won the line. Go ahead. So you, you, you have a timeout. Foul is the number three at Beverly. Immediately, once, once they go in, in Abreu, second, to put two seconds. players at the, at the uh, table to, to sub in, like, why don't you just put them in right off the bat? A coach once said to me, I, I do that, not me. The coach does that because he wants to see if the two players that are coming out actually listen to him in the huddle to execute the play that they just put in and what they want to do. I said, well, that's one theory. I said, I wouldn't do that, you know. One for two is Jake. I agree with you, Kevin. I agree with you on mostly everything in my life. Except for all these travels. 
Oh. You, call. you love the call shot. Basket yeah, counts by Boris. Just to shoot. That's why I said in the intro, you got to get out on their shooters. 2.42 left to go in the quarter. Is that, is that John Tomasi on the bench there for Beverly? But you can tell, you can tell that, they, that Beverly really scouted um, the Highlanders because they know the players are coming. They almost got a steal yeah, there. Yeah. That's a Block. travel. Pick up the ball. Out on the break. With the floater in the air is Crowley. Nine points now for Crowley. Crowley. Seventeen overall. Get off the court there, buddy. Jump ball. Oh, time uh, out. Time out by Beverly. I wouldn't do that, Seven. but that's just me. Beverly, Top me. 25 for the Boston Herald overall. Brookline number one, St. Mary's, a Lynn Fort, that is a and 0. Enough. So that loss to uh, Central Catholic didn't count earlier in the year. Lynn English is 11 and 1. Belmont 12 and 0. Attleboro 12 and 2. Mansfield 10 and 2. Central 10 and 3. Lowell 13 and 2. North Andover 10 and 3. And Acton Boxborough. Kilpatrick no longer there, and that's the reason why they're 11 and 1. That's your top 10. So Somerville. Not on the bench either. So this win, Kevin, they can propel themselves onto the bench of Dan Ventura's top 25. Cambridge at nine and five are on the bench with St. John's Prep, Salem, Bridgewater, Randolph, Needham, and Hanover. So you look at, next time out, I'll go over the divisions where some people felt that the South was a walk in the park for Somerville to win every single year. That's just not the case this year. Everett 902, Medford with a huge win against Everett this past Friday. So things are developing here in the Northeast Conference. But Marco says they're developing all for me because I'm the top player in the South right now. Definitely taking Number the time. Good team. 12, by Bauer came into the game. Barrar. Barrar. Five seconds should have been. He's not making any progress. He's being closely on? guarded. The shot clock is under 10. Oh, good team by who's that? Jakari Mo. Three more. Ooh. Oh, hits the deck. Momo with the rebound. Mo finds Marco's gonna be a kick ball. Yeah, reset it. Here comes number 23, Kamara, back into the game. That's Kyle Kamara. He replaces number three, Toscani Abreu. Highlanders need a basket here, Jeff. Yeah, this is not uh, not what Coach Antonio wanted at the end of the quarter with five points. But I'll tell you a little story next uh, next day ball. There we go. There's a shot for Jimmy. That's a spot. There you go. That's his Jimmy spot. Jimmy McEwen for three. Man, leave this kid wide open. Ooh, All the way in. Quarter, oh, that's a nice block by by Jelani. Easy. Up in don't, don't force hands. it. Relax. There you go. Marcos with the ball. Crosses over, look at him, find Jimmy, there you go. Taking the time. Finds Mo, Vince doesn't have it. crazy with the crossover. Marcos brings it in, spins, falls away, bricks it. Another board for uh, Crowley. That's four. How do you play with a long sleeve shirt in basketball? Uh, only if you have an injury are you supposed to be able to do it. I'm like, but it, the, the shirt's so long, it's like it's on his palm, so you know he's a, not shooting any time soon. If it's a predominant so. color, it's legal, but you have to have an injury to have a long shirt. Face-up game for three more. He just shot it. Oh, wow, yeah. yeah. Should be on number 21. There you go. Malumba. No. Fouls Galvin for 15 of Beverly. 15. Uh, Horace. Oh, like, wait, Harris. they called that on Jimmy? His first team third. 2.4 seconds. One shot. Could have been a five. Mohammed. Oh. So that's the end of the first quarter. Beverly 17, Somerville 8. Real sloppy quarter again. But that's to be expected. Since we last saw you, Summer went to Peabody. They won that game 51 44, knocking Thad out. Thad actually got called for technical foul. Usually very stoic 
uh, that. However, in that game, Somerville was up 12 to nothing. No, they're down 12 to nothing to start the game in the first yeah. quarter. Did not score a point until a minute left to go in the first quarter. And before you know in the second quarter, they were up 18 to 14. So a complete turnaround for Somerville in that game. Marcos led the way with 15, Jimmy with 10, Sam with eight, Jelani with seven, Jake with four, Jakari with four, and Owen with three. They were 12 for 27 from the line, 51-44 lead. Canella had 14 points, led the way for, Pe for Peabody. They will be in the tournament, but they're up in Division One, nine and two overall at Somerville after that game. So a huge win at Peabody will be on their YouTube channel if you want to watch it. All of Beverly's games at home are on their YouTube channel. And here we go. And here we go. Start of the second quarter. Same lineups except for Sam is out there. Turn around. Ball's bounced around on the rim. Rebounded. Malumbo. Oh, big block. I believe that was by Marcos. Big rebound by Mo. Mo got hacked. No call. The zebra was right there in front of it. Didn't even see it. Sam gets beat baseline. Nice block by Marcos. Mohammed to Jakari. There you go. Nice. Good way of using both feet to jump stop as Jakari created space by hopping to the middle of the paint. But you see, you need, you need Sam in there to, to, to uh, deflect some oh, he balls. Yeah, he completely disrupts yeah. it off. Yeah. Oh, wow. Get some rebounds. Fouls down to number asking about the play you referenced before. Mohammed getting knocked to the ground. He still wins in pain. It's crazy. Back in the game now for Beverly, number 15, Damian Ferris. Ferris. 7-14 left to go in the half. Just they create so much space. Great space. Oh, in and out. Got a box out, Jimmy. Offensive board by Kamara. I mean, how many offensive boards are they going to get? Up fake in the paint. See, that's another offensive board. 15, Boris. They have 15 uh, team, team boards right now for Beverly. I mean, how many of those are offensive? 12 overall rebounds. Marcos had Five it. Five offensive passes boards. Passes it up. Kicks it out to Jimmy. Moving around to Mo, to Jakari. Jakari dumps it down to Sam. He gets hacked. He's going to say the foul was on the floor, Jeff. Our Highlanders in the house tonight. We have David Goodrich at the door from the class of 77 and Alicia Goodrich from the class of 07 in the house. Julio here, the class of 03. Oh, off. Oh, my God. Get up and get back. Another board by Crowley. That's five. Johansson here, he's from the class of 97. Maybe 98. Spin to the paint, Kevin. Woo! That's a nice move. A brew, no stopping a brew. Bench here, he's saying behind us, saying step in the lane, guys. Hack in the zone until they prove they can switch travel. travel. Muhammad. Turnover, no subs. Right. That was like an unforced error. There you see David Goodrich, proud class of 1977, played in the old gym, didn't have the privilege of playing in this gym. Played for Jerry Knight, unfortunately for him. For three more. Nice, nice board by Jimmy. Jimmy's got two. 540, look at the speed. Again, Kevin, heavily, heavily well scouted in Beverly, this team. Every single play that's there, they're yelling out what movement is. They're saying, stay here, move left, right. There you go, high pole. I mean, they're, just, they're calling everything out. Second year head coach. I love when people call you on your cell phone when they know that you're on the air. Like, oh, yeah, try, try getting texts from people while you're on the air who are in the gym. That makes no sense. And then, when you make a comment about them, they cry. Marcos, oh, that was a poor pick by Jimmy. 
And they've done a great job on Marcos, Kevin. Marcos with only two points so far. Marcos leading the way, leading the score. And it's the same thing. And Coach Antelli puts Marcos on your best score. Marcos is getting the best defender guarding him. And again, Kevin, they're playing without Duncan Moreland, who's out with an ankle injury, and he's one of their best players. Highlands down by 11, five to go in the half. Short. Jimmy with the rebound. There you go. This is with an offensive rebound. These guys have played a much tougher schedule. They just lost a huge game of Salem at home on the 25th for three more. Oh, from way downtown. Hey. Mohamed Hussein for three. Two threes so far in the game for Somerville. Jimmy with the first. Gotta stop, guys. You gotta get out there. Back rims and Michaels can't get Incredible the ball. Incredible timing. Oh, nice dump down pass. And again, you tell Sam, yeah, stay Sam on your feet. Yep. As he jumped into the, the uh, to the offensive player after the offensive board of Brew, who could incredibly time that. Sam needs to stay on the ground, Kevin. You're 6'7. Don't go flying towards people. Marcos with the ball on the wing. Finds Jimmy down low. Up for Jimmy! Perfectly executed play there, Chuck. No oh, messing with Jimmy, Kevin. Wow. Hands up. Count it! Micah Davies, 4-3. Got to find the shooters. I get... they, they, they know this. They practice this. You've got to get out. Oh, and Tanley said it was one of the most intense practices he's ever, uh, he's ever had his whole career yesterday, which was Monday the 28th. Three more. Oh, almost. But nobody's boxing Crowley out. Right. All six rebounds at the defensive end. Foul, Mohammed. Two. Oh. He, was, he, was, he was initiating the contact. I would then. say so, but you know, foul, as soon foul, as the hand went up, I knew what he was calling. Uh, as you see your replay one. right here. Here's your foul. His second. Yep. Second. Should have been an offensive foul, but travel, no call. In and out, big board by Sam. Sam needs to get some scoring here as he has two boards. Big basket here for the Highlanders with 3.20 to go in the half. Down by 11. Mo gets uh -oh. his money taken. Sorry, Jakari gets his money taken. All the oh. way in for two. There's no stopping it's a brew. Abreu for two. Ten points for Abreu. For Abreu. You say Abreu, I say Abreu. Telegraphing a pass. Marco's too far out. They, they have Marcos' number right now. Adjustments at halftime yeah. are going to need to be made. Travel. I mean, they're, they're relying on on um, Mo and Jakari to bring it in. And Mo is saying, I'm up for it. Mo's but the, the hot hand, I mean, the hot hand in the first half is uh, McEwen, so keep running, run, run the offense. So try to get a moment. and Jakari be coming out, Kevin. They look, they're already walking towards the bench. Is Jakari, who has sat down for a long time. I mean, uh, Jelani sat down for a long time, along with Owen Thompson. Ricardo Bonome having a word with Jakari. Well, you heard Beverly number 15, Dean Barris, also into the game now. But some really basically, Kevin, Kevin Ricardo, class of 09. Jelani here. After the PVD game, Coach Antel was talking about one of his favorite captains, Jimmy McEwing. And Ricardo Bonome raises his hand and says, Coach, what about me? <laughs> And he said, well, you were my first captain in Summer Bowl. Doesn't mean you're my favorite. It's jacked up. For three wow. more. Count it. Seven points for Boris. And again, Kevin, you got to get out on the yeah, shooters. you got to get out on them. Manny O'Donnell doing I mean, the scorebook, so we know there's no problems. They all can shoot. And by rule, Beverly's scorebook should be at the table, and they don't have it. That's not good. Marcos doing a lot of dribbling. Mo, Mo thought about yeah, it. They want to travel. Oh, Marcos says no way. Jelani's is going to go to the line. No, it's nope. only a six foul. I thought they were going to call a foul on Jelani. 
No, foul on, on Abreu. So that's that's three fouls. So he's going to come out the rest of the half. 23, Kamara goes straight to the scores table. Caradas. Caradas has not taken any, wasting any time. He's got to get him out. But Jelani says, don't waste my time. Jelani Hale, 4 2. It's very important. If you can try to get this under, under 10. Exactly. Um, before the half ends. Incredible effort for what the game was, yeah. Kevin, at one point. But you can't stop him in the paint. Oh. Jack Crowley. Crowley Sign him good. up right now, Kevin. And Crowley's only a junior. He's going to be unbelievable next year. He's playing He's pretty well now. now as they say. Right. Marcos dumps it down, gets it. Balls on the floor. It's going to be jump a jump ball. ball. Possession arrow going Somerville's way. Hickory. Back in the game now for Somerville's number four, Jakari Ross, who puts number 22, Muhammad Hussein. You, know, you want to say to uh, Noonan, you know, you can pull the, 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 uh, the podium back. He's like looking behind the podium. Just pull it back. You don't need it there. Uh, almost threw it away. Almost a five-second violation as well. Jimmy with the ball. No, sorry, that's Owen. Owen, look at that power, Kevin. Out of bounds. Ball Same way. Out of bounds. But a shot clock. Did oh, it hit no, the rim? No, it hit the rim. It definitely hit the rim. It didn't hit the rim. Owen's shot didn't hit the rim? No. Let's see a replay on that. If it did, if he did, it's a shot clock violation. There's uh, Julio in the background. Did it hit? Beverly One can't believe being it. Out of the shot clock. Oh. Women remaining in the second quarter. Women remaining. Oh, that's awful. They give well, him no. one second. No, I, I, I agree. The ball never hit. No, they're saying the ball went out of bounds. Oh. So they gave some of a one second on the clock. 34 with the rebound. That's Davies. We're in the high low again. You got Sam on the on the best player. Yeah, they ask him to be patient. He's not. He can guard him. He can guard. He can't guard him outside though. No, that's where he'll kill him on the, on the, on the off the bounce. Like right, Sam's right ready for it. And there you, you got go. Burnt. <laughs> Jack Crowley. That's exactly. Sam got low defensively, Kevin. One shot, Kevin. Or do you go for two? You go for a quick, quick basket here, and then try to get another up. Shot clock is turned off. Owen says, don't mess with me. I'll turn it over, though. All the way in for two. He times it. Oh. Count that. That's exactly what you didn't want to happen, Jeff. Malumba. Oh. Fame scored half time. Beverly. That's, that's the half. Highlanders down 19 to 36. You're watching Highlanders Basketball and Education on Channel 15. See you in a few. And we're back, Kevin, going over the halftime scores. Jakari with two, Marcos with two, Jake with three, five tied, Muhammad and Jol and Jimmy. Jelani has two for a total of 19 points there. Two for four from the line. For Beverly, two for Malumba, three for Davies, six for Boris, Abru has 10, and lean the way Crowley with 15. They have a total of 36. Cool chance tonight looks hot. Oh, well, Somerville stayed out there. Kuzma he gave, uh, basically gave Somerville a chance there. Because he told Jelani to tuck in his shirt, even though it was tucked in. And Kuzma put the ball down. So that's a veteran ref right there, Kevin. He knows that it's not their fault that their coach kept them in the oh. locker room. And there we go. We got a steal right off the bat. He could have had a layup on that. What was he doing? I don't know. Looking to run the offense. Green roll, yeah. Well, that's, see, that's not Jimmy. Jimmy bring it into the paint. Is, that's not your fit. Three seconds. Offensive foul. What do they call it? Foul? Sam, yeah. Trying to clear space, but he wasn't. That was, that was, that was bad. That was number 35. He, they call it foul? Yeah. That is a second person. I was sure they were calling it three seconds. Second. Two fouls on Sam. Not the way Coach Antelli wanted to start the half. Almost the back court on that recovery, Kevin. Travel! Violation. I was going to say, if they let that travel go, I'm going home. 
Big turnover. Pizza looks pretty good, Kevin. Does it now? Where's it from? I don't know. I know Joe Constantine knows where it's from. Zipper! Joe Constantine's good for about six slices himself. I just bought a, a vegan pizza for Kenzie. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Uh. I don't know how people do it. Kevin, let her eat the real stuff. Go to Mama Gina's, will you? Oh, beautiful dish nice in the paint. Pat. Oh, big block by Sam. There we go. Highlanders need to stop. Do you let her have a happy meal? She loves happy meals. There you go. Jimmy picks up the dribble, finds Jakari. Jakari back to Jimmy. Jimmy's, Jimmy needs to get from the top of the key. That's not. There you go. Jelani with a free put, put in for two. Four points for Jelani. Face up, hook. Oh, Jakari almost got the steal. Coach Desmond's yelling. He's already lost his voice. Oh, uh, yeah. There's no stopping Crowley. 17. You got to get out on him. Well, hey. It's not like they didn't know about him. Yeah. I'm sure they should. Got, like, footage of him. Oh, every one of the games is on YouTube. They do them live on YouTube. Is that right? Oh, I can tell you a story about that one. When are we going to start doing that? Uh, well, Sam strong move by Sam. It's not like they didn't want to. Travel. All the way in the painted area. And Crowley is holding that leg. Yeah, he's in pain. Yeah. You can see the replay. Of Somerville, that's Got his legs Hale. taken out from underneath him. Well, I would take I would take uh, Sam off and put Jelani on him. That's what I was just about to say. Too bad you're not Maillard. If Maillard was here, Kevin, Crowley wouldn't have a point. Maillard was playing. That's the first down. So you can choose, Kevin. You want to play a guard quicker a foot? to try to get out on him, or you want to play a stronger player and bang him, foul him, and frustrate him. So you can do that. You can bring Jake in and use yep. all Jake's five fouls and just pound him. So he's saying, pound this. Yeah. I got 19. He's got a, he's got a nice uh, look at his shot. All right, Highland is down by 15 points right now, Jeff. 25 points in the third quarter is not what they ordered. Oh, very nice. close to me on the bounce. There you go. See that? Sam That's what happens then. The Highlanders execute. They get points. No, four quick points, Kevin. Get up. That's it. But there's no stopping Crowley. Jack Crowley, four, two. See, that's why I bring Jake in right now and just pound him. Yep. Bang him, pound him, frustrate him. Every single time, set a screen, elbow him. You got to do something to knock him off his block. Marcos almost got his money taken trying to dribble right in front of him. Well, Malumba tossed the ball right over to Ricardo. He's got to look for Sam, Kevin. You yeah. guys should draw some fouls on Crowley. Marcos forces it, bricks it. Muhammad. Mo. There you go, Mo. Oh! No fouls. Oh, be on the floor. It'll be on if it's on Crowley. That's his second. Two, look at three. Look at the, the rebound. Of Beverly. That is Kamara. Kamara, his first, team first of the second half. Sam sets a good screen. Beautiful. There you go. Jelani Hale for two. Six points for Jelani, two points in this quarter. Just standing there, Jelani was wide open. Fool them on that one, Kevin. Fool me once. Now Jelani switched off. I know, I'm like, on him. but no, but Jelani was playing the zone. They're, they're, in, they're definitely in a man. Three seconds. Oh, there you go. Well, Here we go. Beautiful play, Oh, Kevin. make the layup. Out of bounds oh. off Jelani. 
But Coach is yelling at Jelani. Jelani was playing zone. Playing zone. The rest of the team's playing man. Crossover coming. Wide open for three. Ball's tip. This time it is Sam. Should have let it go. Oh, they Kadaris is saying it was off, it was off Muhammad. That's two right. calls there that I know, they, they that, didn't take advantage that of. That ball should have been highlighting his ball, definitely. I mean, sorry, it's uh, kind of dark in Beverly. that area too. We got a light out it over should the have been bench. Beverly's ball. What? Whatever. Got some darkness of the Undertaker over there. Marco Short's getting shorter, Kevin. Is that the style we're going with now? Who wears short shorts? Ooh, spin, spin move. Can't finish. Over the back on Sam. No call. Sam got hit in the face, Jeff. No call. Oh, nice trip. Nice trip by Jakari. A pass. 310 left to go. And down the ball. Jeez. It's taking so long. They must have heard us, Kevin. We said put Jelani on him. But Sam switches off. <laughs> Marcos. He didn't call a timeout, did he? Jump ball? Yeah. Possession Summerlin. So credit uh, Marcos, but being held way under his average. Way under. Marcos with only Sam four went, points. And how many rebounds does Sam have? Sam really has two or three. Sam, not many. No, Sam. Did he, did he pick two. up two, two rebounds? Yep. Unbelievable. Here comes Salem. Your patience at good screens. You should get an open shot like that. There you go. Marcus Montiel, 4 3. Five points in this quarter, Kevin. And he got it within 10 now. Huh? This is A race at five Man. points. There's never any quit that, here. In and Jelani's face guard in Crowley now. Ooh, nice head. Baseline jumper. Woo! 12 points for Brady. Marcos goes baseline, gets. Marcos! I'm out in Tinelli for some reason. Should have been, been a foul, too. And that's when Marcos looked at the officials and said he wanted it. That is a foul. Last year in Beverly. Oh, watch, watch this foul, Jeff. Watch this. That's a foul. I know. That's what he was looking at the ref asking for. Last year in Beverly, Somerville lost 76 to 70. Lucas had 19. Tyler had 25. Jimmy had 11. Jimmy had all 11 in the first half. Somerville. Somerville. Somerville with 9 for 14 from the line. And in that game, it was Crowley with 18 as a sophomore. Moreland had 16. Uh, Abreu had nine, Rowling had 11, Davies had 11, and the guy who's hurt, Moreland, had 11. So this team is well versed. Last year they were 15 and five. There were five teams at 15 and five last year, Kevin, in the North two. Beverly won the coin flips. So they were really the de facto 15 and five as far as the number one seed. But you were still the number one seed. Beat Beverly in the first, beat Malden Catholic and Jimmy McCune in the first round, and then you lost to Beverly, at Beverly to Woburn in the quarterfinal. Woburn got to the North final, lost to Tanglis in Songa Serena. So Beverly wants to get back to get to the quarterfinal, and this Jack Crowley is gonna do it. There you go. For Somerville. 10 point lead for Beverly with two minutes in the Oh, game. steal it. Great oh, gotta get Crowley. back. Pull on jumper, Kevin. But that Crowley gets some out, board. guys. It's your Achilles heel in this game, Jeff. Seven boards no, for Crowley. No box it out. Good D. Good D by Jakari. Staying in front of him. Rebound it. There you go. Jakari's looking to push it. Jakari with only two points as well, Kevin. Oh, you have Sam wide open. Had him wide open underneath the basket, Jeff. He didn't see it. Marcos, Marcos with the balls, crosses over, goes baseline. Offensive foul. 
And then call for serious? travel. Kadoras is calling travel. I don't, this, players... I don't know what this coach is talking about. Right? Well, he wants to travel. The Beverly players on the court want an offensive foul. Let's watch this. Let's utilize the screen. Let's see. So there's your last There's a foul there. There's the second foul there. Exactly. There's little foul. Definitely not an offensive foul. Wow. And one. Rally basket counts. And Luciano for two. Fouls called number 10 of Beverly. So Crowley now with two third. fouls. He's got three fouls there. Crowley's Crowley Crowley limping. He's saying he had all ball. Well, he's limping and he says he had all ball, but he has three fouls. No, I don't know. Oh, big time free throw made by Sam. 44 37. Raising within to go seven. Again. Don't call it a comeback. Oh, well, nobody's stopping there at the penetration. It was Beverly who stopped it on their own. Where's Crowley? You yeah, gotta Crowley's find Crowley. on the Crowley. baseline. They've lost him. So they've gone back He's into wide this. open the baseline. Foul will be on Muhammad, most likely. Oh, but the Highlanders are just in a zone defense now. Four. Foul's called the number four of Somerville. Ross. Sub Jake in late. Should not have allowed that sub in, Kevin. In the painted area, Lots somehow out. gets the board coming in. Big board, but there you go. Give it to him. God. I was upset at Marcos because Marcos had Jakari wide open on the wing. Now's the time when Beverly needs a timeout to get their team together because yeah. they're running out of gas. They just you probably want to paint. Double, there you go. Wide open. That's who you want. You want someone else to shoot the ball over the back. Another board. But they're keeping it, keeping those balls alive, Jeff. Well, they want one shot. They're gonna run. Get us. Jakari, nice defense. Oh, great fake, Kevin. Oh, this is the, the oh my God. Morris got his own board, another board. Foul will be on the floor. Oh my God. Malumbo with the offensive board. Foul should be on 21, Jelani. Oh, Jelani. Uh, offensive rebounds. Like, there hasn't been like one box out in this game whatsoever. But, not every, well. Every defense is twice like bringing it to one Thompson. Thompson. Right. Right. But every offensive, uh, defensive rebound that we've got, oh, the ball just huge. went straight into so this one possession. Kevin, he's going big. Look at the size Antel he has in there. But Crowley's in a low block. Foul is on Jelani now. That's three. But you got to keep him in, Kevin. Crowley is two for two from the line. Twenty-one of Somerville. Jelani Unbelievable. His third team Twenty-one Jack points Crowley for Crowley, looking to make it twenty-two with three seconds to go in the third. Sam to come in for some offense. Hey. 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 Out the size in the scoring. I mean, look at look, look at the play, Jeff. The, it was definitely a foul well, on Jelani. Yeah. I mean, that if that was if the roles were reversed, he, we'd be upset yeah, too. Jelani initiated the contact. Yeah. <laughs> Brings him back up by seven. Crowley's coming out of the Crowley game. comes out because Davis of his three fouls. In. So three fouls on Abreu, three fouls on Crowley. Muhammad again. Smith the defense. Oh! Famous All right. Three quarters of play, Beverly 46. Somerville now for those of you need to adjust your schedules because of the storm on the weekend of the 20th, the game, Somerville boys against Medford is at Tufts on Super Bowl Sunday, February 3rd. I strongly suggest all of you out there to check the time because right now, Kevin, we have no idea what the time is going to be of that game because originally it was supposed to be the girls at 11 and the boys at 12.30. For some don't, reason, don't unbeknownst tell me to, push to it. anybody... Don't tell me to push it back. No, unbeknownst then, to anybody uh, else, not telling anybody from the people who cover the game to the people in Somerville. The athletic department moved the girls game to this past Sunday, nine o'clock at night. I find out that the game was played. So now the girls have already played their portion of this tournament the, oh, wait, 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 wait. against Medford. Yeah, at least the basketball team knew, right? Did it's like, 
basketball team, somehow they knew. But they refused to tell you, Jeff? Nobody told me, nobody told Joe Constantine, nobody told anybody from the Executive Office of Communications. So, to the people out there, if you're looking for the girls' game against Medford, Go to Medford. D it was Medford. not taped. It was a home game, and for the first time since 1995-96, the Executive Office of Communications did not cover a home game for the girls' program. All right. Back and to it was life. not the fault of anyone. But you know who. Do I know, Jeff? Do I know? <laughs> Abreu says, I know who it is, and I'm going to keep scoring in your face. He has 14. Oh! oh! So now in that situation, Kevin, shot clock should Was not it? reset because did he ever officially have possession of the ball? No. The no. same that he did. Course, so it's not. So I get 13, 13 seconds because on the shot clock. Originally, the shot clock was reset. And see, I don't think anybody knows that. Back rims it. Muhammad Big board by Sam. Jump ball. Give me a jump ball. Possession that was going Highlander's way. Sam looks like he hurt himself, Jeff. Well, you know, he's got a good vertical leap on him. Sam, get back. He might have broken his finger. It looks like he got a Charlie horse. I don't think it looks like it's anything serious. The way they tell you is what's he arguing about? Moving it around. Doesn't have anything. Well, well scouted um, team, uh, Beverly. Or I should say, Beverly scouted the Highlanders very well. Great box over, over the, the back, Sam. Over the back by Sam. Yep. That is goal number 35 of Summerville. So for Sam, Kevin, that is now three. So three fouls, Jelani, three fouls, Sam, three fouls, Abreu, yeah. three fouls, Crowley. So your three, your four best players on the court, fouls. But I mean, it's, luckily it's the fourth quarter, so. Yeah, we're very lucky. 6.54 yeah. left to go in this game. Got a good game it's coming down the stretch, though. We'll see. Carry. Fade away. Another offensive board by 23, Kamara. He, he dribbles, 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 and then he does this. That's four. Like, Kevin, the rule is always if your thumb points to the ceiling, it's a carry. I mean, that rule has definitely been lax. Well, but when, you, but when your ways. hand is completely underneath the ball. Run Salem. Coincidentally, Salem is very good this year, Kevin. Don't tell him to have to pass, Jakari. Just they just pass into an area that Beverly knows it's coming. Jimmy with the ball on the wing. Up top to Jakari, over to Marcos, back on the other wing. He goes into the lane, gets fouled. Ah, oh, can't finish. But he's going to go to the line to shoot two. Marcos will go to the line for two in. He came alive in the Best third. Seven points. That's nine. Malumba first. Sub for Beverly's blocking the speaker so we can hear what uh, Noonan uh, had to say there. Let's see the line for one more. Now for Beverly is number 15. Big, Barris, your place is number 20, big baskets here. Big congratulations to Noonan, Kevin. He's new, newly engaged. Yeah. That's huge. Brings it within seven. They had it down to seven with uh, like midway through the third quarter, right? Stay down. Push just, off. Just got it over. And Sam holds him before he gets hurt. But that's Foul is gone, the number four of Somerville. I'll tell you, Brady was that pushing off the whole time. Yeah, time. Gonna tell he's, he's shaking his head. So is Desmond. Scotty so is Ian. For Beverly. There's a new assistant coach there, Kevin. We got to get his name. I don't, I don't know where he came from. But they're over the limit right now, Kevin. Here's the one-on-one -on -one situation. No. Rick. Go, 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 go. Kari says you want to call a foul on me, I'm going to get the rebound. What did you intercept that for, Johnny? No, the ball was tipped. Oh, um, tip this, as they say. Out of bounds, same way. Ooh, the Highlanders got lucky there, communication by Beverly. Kevin, both players looked at each other. They couldn't figure out who touched it last. But Jimmy says, I'm going to get a three off this. Wait. 
you doing? In the low block. There you go. So that's four on Crowley, Kevin. That's what Somerville wants. So does he come out of the game now with five minutes to sit for a couple well, minutes? I mean, I, I don't Beverly. think so. I would keep it. Is Jack Crowley, his fourth team. Seven points for Sam. He's one for 11 from the line. I mean, look at it. Those are power strong moves. Oh, great execution yeah, by some of them. So you say to Beverly right now, you get, you obviously, they're going to, until he's going to try to take advantage of that matchup, yeah. it posts you up. You can't put Crowley on him. Yeah, he should have done it from. Just put Crowley on McEwing. Know, Sam shooting. Sam, for three. Yeah. Sam That's normally shoots about 10% from the line. And it's a five point game, Kevin. Last year's loss was six points. Oh, Sam almost gets the steal. Oh. Tell you, foot Crowley fouls out, Kevin. Some of the wins. Back in cold. Big board by Sam. And Davies now has yeah. how many fouls? Davies has two. And Sam Bell is not going to lie. Beverly, as Michael Davies, four He's rebounds for Sam. Back Here comes number Beverly 12 with a long 12. shirt. Brar, we'll just call him Ryan so he don't mispronounce his last name. Well, what's the situation? Unbelievable. Here comes number 10, Jack Crowley. Crowley's out for probably a minute and a half here. Big possession here for the Highlanders. What was he calling to come over there for? I don't know. Telegraph the pass again. Marcos brings it in, dumps it down to Sam for two. Sam Cristiano for two. Sam is the deck somehow. Getting excited. Lost his foot and running down the court. Has it within three. No foul. Oh. Baseline by Abreu. Tough basket by number three to Scotty Abreu. Five point lead again for Beverly. McEwen with the ball gets the pick from Jelani. Utilizes oh. it well. Yeah. Mar Marcos with the ball at the top of the key. Marcos brings it in. Gets hacked, no call. No Rebound call. by 21, Malumba. Travel. Baseline, Baseline jump shot. Bumper. In and out. Oh, big board by Sam. Another foul by Davies. Now they're going to line, Kevin. Sam holds the ball. Goes straight Sounds to the line. Number 21 of Beverly. That's no, Malumba. Wow. Malumba. I told you we're going to have a good game to end this up. Sam, one in one situation. Sam has made three in a row, Kevin. Uh, is four in a row too much to ask? That, why would you say that? Why would you say that? Like, matter. who says that? He's not, he's not, he's going to make it. Jeff, <laughs> why would you? You know, like, I'm, I'm going to have a few choice words with you after this All game. All right. Like Hubert Davis and um, all the way in gets fouled. Oh, foul should be on Jakari. I could say, yeah, Jakari definitely. Yeah, his foot wasn't, he wasn't stationary, so. Foul's called at number four. I mean, I don't know why the coaching staff is. Look at him, he's not. Nice. How, how can you not say that's a foul? Uh, yeah. I mean, Jakari crashed right into him. Yeah. You know, I mean, <laughs> not that Malum is going to make the free throws, but, you know, Somerville. Everybody in Somerville would have been upset if it was reversed. So, anyways. Should be a lane violation on Sam. How's that not a lane violation? Jesus, guys. Sam walked right in the lane. It was a lane violation, guys. It's a one and one. I don't know, but he was in the lane before the attempt was even made. Oh. Sam did. He walked right in the lane. He did. No, no, he did call it. Yeah, he called the lane violation. No, but Coach Antonelli was saying if the zebra uh, down the bit, not the one that he's talking to, not not um, Kuzma. Kuzma, the other referee, if he saw it, and he definitely he made the call. Well, if we see the replay, yeah, he walked right in the lane, guys. No, it was a good call. Yeah. That's huge. 
don't know if coach, if uh, Joe Constantine was rolling at that point. It's gonna be oh. Timeout. 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 Beverly. Beverly. Timeout. 52 45, 4-12 to go. So both teams have three fouls left. To prove the MIA listens to me, Kevin, here is their late fee and penalty sheet. Okay, I've been saying for years that people should be fine. So if you don't get your schedule commitment in form, and if you're a fall team by September 30th, winter by January 15th, spring April 15th. Let's see the lane violation here, Kevin. That's not the that's the second no, that's shot. The second one. 300 dollars if you don't get your schedule commitment form in end of the season tournament entry if you don't get your deadline page in for your tournament commitment 300 dollars your game exclusion form 200 dollars filing inaccurate seating information that's like when you put your all your wins down and your losses 300 dollars your participation survey 200 dollars enrollment report 200 dollars so incredible effort, MIA. It's a simple thing you ask these schools to do. I've been saying it for years. If you don't get that in, I'm finding you, finding you, finding you. And they finally listen to me, Kevin, just to prove. And if you want to appeal it, you got to go to Sherry Bryant. And most likely, if you don't, if you don't want to do one of these, you're gonna fail, and you're not gonna, you're not gonna win that appeal. And at the end of the year, they give the, uh, they give all the funds and fines yep. to the endowment funds. Is that right? 52, 45, four minutes to go in the game. Marcos dumps it down to Sam, who can't control. Turnover. It's going up, out of bounds. It was executed well. 23, Kamara coming in. Also out of that timeout, Kevin Crowley came back in, who has no points in the fourth quarter. 23 points for Crowley. One foul more, he's out. Say good night. Ooh, nice crossover. Block! Quick outlet to Jakar. Go, baby! There you go. Jakari. Four Rock. points now for Jakari. Gotta get a stop now. Plenty of time left here, Kevin, for the whole year. Oh, but there's no stopping a break travel. travel. Turnover on Abreu. Five point lead. You gotta get a good, good offensive three, player three, right here. 31 left to go in this game. Coach Antonio wants revenge against all the teams that voted them out. I'll go over that next time out. Marcos with the ball now. Looking to give it to Sam. They're looking to double team. I would not put Crowley on Sam. Fouls for gun 21. So now, Kevin, Crowley four, Abreu four, Malumba three, Jakari three, Jelani three, Sam three. Marcos going to line, Kevin, who has, who's two for two from the line so far? Twelve points from Marcos. Big basket here. Big, huge. Oh, yeah. Three point lead. Three minutes to go in the game. Now you're looking for Beverly to run the shot clock down. Use plays here with a lot of movement. Break down the off the defense here. Run the play down and use clock is what they're looking to do. Be patient. Good, good D by Sam, fronting them, face guarding them. They dump Probably. it down. Oh, Turn yeah. Around. Go! Pick it up! Easy, nice. Ooh. It's a brand new game, Kevin. Oh. Boris with the board. And that, that's the shot you're looking again, for. Now, think you're going to do the same thing again. Yep. Coach says slow it down again. They're going to use the entire shot clock. They're going to run through their offense. Again, look at all the minimum subs they're playing. Hand off, oh. almost a turnover. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, he got a jump ball. Doris almost gets a technical foul, but he got the possession though. And tell he wanted a timeout. I don't think anybody even touched the ball with Marcos for a jump yeah. ball. Coach Antonelli is not having it today. That was a gift there, Kevin. In the backcourt, you can throw it. No stupid fouls now, guys. 
Handoff. Oh, nice D by Marcos. Carry again. Carry again. No, that's not a. Yeah. First off, Jeff, stop saying it's a carry. It has to be a carry. He puts the ball on the ground. He, picked, he, he, caught, the, he caught the pass. That's not a carry, Jeff. McEwen dumps it down to Jelani. We're going to get a timeout by Coach Antonelli. Timeout, Somerville. Woo. Five point lead for Beverly with uh, how much time was left? A little over a minute, right? So we go over the standings right now in the south. Medford leads it at 7 1, Salem 7 1, Somerville 6 2, Danvers 6 5. So here's the key, Kevin. Medford lost to Salem. So that means for the conference, Medford playing Somerville on Super Bowl Sunday. If Medford wins or loses, they're still in contention. However, Somerville plays Salem. So Medford will be rooting for Somerville to lose to Salem if Medford beats Somerville. So there's your circulation right wait, wait. there. Hold on, hold on. Let's, let's rewind that uh, replay real quick. Look. No, the previous play when he no, dribbled. This right here. Watch you're... him dribble. Previous. No, that's not what you were calling, Jeff. This... He, that, that's what you're calling. You were calling a carry there. He didn't even carry the ball. He caught the pass. Yeah, I'm wrong. <laughs> anyway, moving so on. So Somerville is currently 6-2. and two. If they beat Medford on Sunday, they will be 7-2. and two. Medford would be 7-2. and two. It comes down to the Somerville-Salem game. Who can win the South Conference? Well, we got to win this game first. I know. But this con this, this doesn't matter in, well, right. in the South. Sorry, yeah, you're right. Oh! 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 Just grab the Sam, ball. take it. Yeah, there you go. Man, the Hounds, they, they were trying to just catch the ball and put it back. Yeah, three catch offensive it, rebounds down and go up possession. strong. How would you go up strong? No, don't reach, Marcos. Travel! That's right in front of you. Wow. Now make that was a makeup call. Make up call. He missed the first one. Called a, he called the second one. <laughs> Awful. That was, watch this replay. That was a makeup call to the makeup call. That was a makeup call of all makeup calls. And it was number 15, Boris, who originally traveled, Kevin. Easy. Jimmy wanted that three, Kevin. One minute to go in the game. Marcos brings it down the lane, gets hacked, no call. Jakari throws it up, nothing. Whoa. Out of bounds off Abreu, who gets the board. How many timeouts does the Highlanders have? They have two and three for Beverly. 56.7 to go, Kevin. Three-point game. And who Coach Antonelli is calling the timeout. Timeout who? Let's, timeout. See, let's see if you see that. Let's see if you see the, the travel that wasn't a call yeah. and then the makeup travel call. I, I hope that. Watch the replays here by Ed McNamara, the best replay technician in the entire Eastern Seaboard. Now here we go. Here we go. It's on the catch. See, that's a travel there. No call. Okay, and the whole bench is calling it. And the whole bench is yelling, Desmond. I mean, I mean that was a no. travel too, so yeah. they both were travels. But, yeah. <laughs> I mean, so, I'm, I'm glad that at least the second one was a travel and it wasn't like a. So the North champion is going to be Lynn English because they are 10 and 0 and they've beaten everybody in their side. So. Everett is seven and one. Beverly will be seven and two, or be eight and two, or, eight, or seven and three after this game. So the North is going to be settled. The South is still up in the air for who get a championship, and that makes Coach Antelli feel much better because one of the votes was how why Somerville was put in the South, why some people voted no to get them out, and Somerville is proving to you here. Medford and Salem are great programs right now. So don't tell me that they're just winning it as a gift. All right, we don't need a three. No we don't need Marcus. a three. Just go by him. Thank you. No foul call. Somehow gets his own ball. Oh, I'm going to call a jump ball. Yeah. Possession that was going to go. But I credit way. Marcos for getting his own rebound there, Kevin. They keep the possession. Yeah, no. I, 48. I was sure they would have foul. Remember, these guys are doing this all without Duncan Moreland, who's out with a very heavily sprained ankle. Jakari with the ball. Waiting for Marcos. Nothing going on right now. Marcos brings it. You don't need a three. Thank you. Bring it in. There you go. 
Jimmy. Oh, Jimmy. Oh. Jump ball again, Kevin. Possession now, Beverly. Now, question is, Kevin, do you D up or do you foul? D up. No, you D up. All right, we'll see. Does he want? Does, does Beverly call a timeout? There's 32.5 seconds on the on the game clock. No foul. Five. Ooh! Tipped back out of bounds by Jelani. Good. The five-second count starts again, Kevin. Fresh five. Cannot run the baseline. If he does. Oh, Michael steals the ball. He goes up for two. Look at that. Time up, Beverly. Look, he's all the way. He can't go all the way down. What's he asking That's for? That's got to be a technical foul. You can't go past there, right? What's he asking? What could, what could be his issue? You can't go. Can you go out of the coach's box that far? Well, it's a timeout. You can go oh, and discuss okay. anywhere he wants. Let's see what he could possibly be discussing here. Run it. He's being held back. Run it. I don't know. What, what are you going to be called? We'll call the timeout. Uh, Beverly called the timeout. Let's see. Got a steal by Marcos. Did he say any point? What did you say? No foul? Off? No. What is he saying? I mean, they are, they are both, uh, the, and, and Abreu was arguing something. I don't know. What do you I think, I, no, no, no. Well, I think the only thing I can figure they was calling when they inbounded the ball, Jelani tipped it back out of bounds. No time came off the clock. That's the only thing I think you could be talking about. But it was just like it was a bang bang play. The ball, he tipped the ball. Did Beverly call the timeout? Beverly called the timeout. Dave, Dave. All right. Oh, are they saying they called a timeout? That's what they were, that's what, that's what Kevin, that's what Crowley was arguing. Foul now. Now you have to foul. Foul's on Sam. Kevin, if you see the replay, yeah. and, uh, they just showed Crowley was saying, so if the, they were calling a timeout, oh, that's what they were arguing about. Okay. Because okay. Crowley, you see the replay clearly that they just showed us I see that. that they were okay. calling a timeout. So one on one the, situation. So if they got the timeout, Marcus wouldn't have been able to steal the ball, is what you're saying. That's what that's what that's what Beverly's argument was. Yeah. However, on this play, Kevin, on that point, ball went to Crowley. He traveled. Pressure free throw, Abreu. So Coach Antonelli has how many timeouts left? Two. He has two timeouts. If he makes this inbound the ball, being the half court call timeout. Oh boy, here we go, boys and girls. Here we go, here we go. Bring it in, Marcos. Double. Yeah. Woo! You got a good one here, boys and girls. Ladies and gentlemen. Tied up at 55, double nickel. As you see, a replay watch it, here. Watch this replay. A little double pump. With seven seconds to go, the ball went in with 7.5. We'll see what the scoreboard says. So now, did run that back? Did Beverly inbound the ball? Did they call a timeout? Did they inbound the ball and call a timeout? I don't know. Run that back if we can. Be... No, it's on the baseline. But even if they inbound the ball and call it a timeout. Think, yeah. I don't think, well, if they inbound the ball and call it a timeout, it would be here on the side. No, no it's so. I think uh, they called it right off the bat. 5.3 to go, Kevin. Last play, Crowley got away with a travel. Look where Crowley six, is, Kevin. Six. Yeah, I would put Jelani on, on Crowley. Six point one. Six point one. Tied up at 55. Crowley wants the ball. Oh, for three! At the buzzer! 
Oh, we got overtime, boys and girls. 23, Kamara says he got fouled on the offensive board. Scores Somerville 55, Beverly 55. We are headed to overtime. Wow. Talk about the tail of two halves, Jeff. Oh, yeah. Well, Coach Antelli would say that's why I kept him in the locker room all that time. So now the advantage is definitely in Somerville's favor because Crowley, who has not scored in the entire fourth quarter, has four fouls. So one foul, he's gone. Remember, Beverly is doing this without one of their top scorers in Duncan Moreland, who's on the bench with a big, big uh, brace on his ankle. Now each team gets an additional timeout yep. for overtime. Jump ball, we'll do start they, the overtime. Do they carry over for whatever they have yeah, left yeah. over? Everything carries over. So Beverly will have two and Somerville will have three, I believe. Right to Jimmy. Right to Jimmy. Ah, oh. yeah, Jimmy. Go to the lane. Walk by Crowley, so dangerous, guys. Oh! No fouls, guys. Had an opportunity right there. That was a huge risk by Crowley, Kevin, with four fouls. Went in there and took him, trying to block that yeah. shot. Beverly, again, is going to be methodical on their offensive sets for three. That's not going in. Got to box out, guys. Four rebounds for Jakari. Box out first, Markle. Let's go. Big defensive from Alumba here who has to stop. Marcos, who's gone on fire in the second Marcos, half. Chris is Wow. Foul will be on Malumbo for a foul. Fouls go, number 21, Beverly. Wow. Pulling my hair out, Jeff. 15 points for Marcos. Marcos Montiel Who's four for four from the line? Going in for two. Yeah, almost on Crowley, too. Oh. The thing what they're looking at here, Kevin, is the vote out of the Northeast Conference was Danvers, Marblehead, Beverly, Winthrop, and Lynn English. So you've already got revenge against Marblehead. Now you're revenge here against Beverly for voting you out of the league. This is what a lot of people were looking at. Not so bad. Taking the lead, stop Kevin. Now. One point lead for some rolling overtime. Ooh. There you go. The ball. Stay down. Stay. Good D. There you go. Relax. Go to the ball. Yeah, he's so All hesitant right. right now, Kevin, with that foul. It has nothing to do with the foul right oh, now. Man. Make the layup. Pounds himself in the head. Marcos brings it down the lane, gets hacked. Blocked oh, oh. by number 21, Malumba. But it the ball, he's, he's out ball. of bounds. Yeah, That's a, the ball. I think that was a makeup call. What is the issue? What, what's the problem? Did I, they, the ball was out of bounds. That was a block. Block of Malumba. That should have been a foul. Cracking up is Noonan. Right there, right. Nine. Oh, it's a foul, number 10. Well, oh! He's going to give it a 23. You see? Kamara. Wow. Hey, look at him. He's on his back. Look at him. Look at him. Oh. That was so close, Jeff. Kamara was on the other side, so they're giving it to Kamara. That was a close one. <laughs> Two shots for Jelani. Ah. Jelani Hale, the line for one more. So, double bonus now the rest of the game. Come on, Jelani. Jelani now. Ugh, this is a both. Malumba with the board. Couldn't, couldn't gain anything this. Highland is up by one point. Eight rebounds now for Malumba. Crowley, very lucky, still in the game. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Relax, relax. 
pick up. Relax, relax. Go, no, oh. Relax, there you go. Set, set up the offense, come on. Run your relax. offense. Oh. There you go, Marcos. What you want, kid? Let's go. Three point lead, Kevin. Two minutes to go. Beverly has not scored. They're just so hesitant on offense right now. For three. How do they get these boards, man? Travel. Marcos with the defensive board, but then traveled, Kevin. Yo, these, ki these kids are grabbing boards like no other team I've seen this season. Well, Abreu, you know, Abreu technically didn't have the ball in his hand. Timeout, Beverly. Unbelievable. Fox out. Beverly with one timeout left. They have not scored at all. Watch it. Look at this. Box Missed three. Look at this. Smallest kid on the court crashes the board, box him out. You've been saying it for the past, I don't know, the past hour and a half. So, I mean, you could have called that easily a jump ball because both players are on it. Marcos fell away with the ball and traveled, did not hold his position. So remember, on Friday, February 1st, Saugus, Somerville goes to Saugus. That's just a warm-up act for the game in Medford. This will be Medford's home game at Tufts. This year, the boys are home, and the girl, the boys are, Somerville boys are away, and the Somerville girls were home. Three-point lead for Somerville with 150 to go, Kevin. Beverly has not scored in this overtime period. Three points for Marcos in the overtime, Kevin. Find him. Abreu, baseline. Screen and roll, Crowley. Nice play. Right One out of the timeout, lead. perfectly executed. You knew that ball was going to him the whole time. And they still couldn't stop it. 18 points for Marcos. Staying with the same lineups, Kevin. No subs. Until somebody finds you. Could've, could've, could've Ooh. Find Jimmy. Jimmy from way downtown. Now he's going to get three. Jimmy's going to get free three throws. That keeps happening to him every game. Player teams should know that he's a three-point shooter. But, I, I mean, Beverly. you would think that the Highlanders could have run that play. Up I mean, in the first half, the two times that they ran it, he got Somerville. can't tell he's arguing about something here. I don't know. He's always arguing about something. Jimmy gets three. Uh-oh. Easy. But he's been doing a great job coaching this game, Jeff. Oh! Oh! Oh, Sam. Oh. Crowley with the board. Two out of three for Jimmy. Gives the Highlanders a three point lead. 1 12 to go in the game. Back up to three. Jakari on the ball. Get pass into the way. for three. In and out. Big board by Jimmy. Relax. Less than a minute in the first overtime. Less than a minute in. Marcos looking to push it. Doesn't have anything. Highlanders up by three. Under a minute to go in, in this overtime. Beverly just got hesitant with their offense. Yeah, yeah, they did. It's not. And it, it has nothing to do with the, the, the foul trouble. They just didn't go at it. This is going to kill. This is going to kill their season, Kevin, because they have Everett next. At Everett. That's an ugly shot. Ah. Board by 15, Boris. That was like a Marcus Smart shot against the Golden State Warriors the other day. Out. What are you taking the final there for? Beverly. At least it wasn't a lot of time on the shot clock. So Beverly shot. takes their final timeout down by three in overtime. So now you look at Beverly's schedule. Say Somerville holds on. You lose here. That makes you eight and four, seven and three in the conference. At Everett, you're going to have trouble there if you still have your injuries. Then you got Medford. So they have three very hard games in a row here. Then they'll finish off at Peabody, Newburyport, Revere. So they're, they're, in for, they're in for a struggle right now. 
if you lose this game, that's going to knock them out of definitely out of the top Super Six in Division Two. They're going to get knocked out of a lot of rankings. And you credit Sumrall Kimmer being down with 15 points in the second quarter. Is that the highest it was? 15. Oh, it's definitely 15. Yeah, one point. And at the end of one, at the end of one, it was 17 to eight. And then at halftime, it was 36, 19. At halftime, 36, 19. Yep. And then at the third quarter, it was 46, 39. So basically it's all because of Marcos. All right, here we go. Still down by three is Beverly. Crowley still in the game with four fouls. Beverly's shown out of the timeouts. It took him. Morris for three. Count it. The kids can shoot. Nice to know, Brady. There we go, boy. Oh boy. Last possession, Kevin. Time on time out by Coach Antonelli. Ten seconds. And until his marker went on the table, now it goes underneath the table. Wow. So now it's crazy. They walked the ball up. Took so much time off the clock. Yeah, and the ball is where? It's going to be a half, half, half court. court. Yeah. But it walked it up and took all that time off. I would have ran it up. I don't know. So no timeouts left for Beverly. They took their additional timeout. Crowley has four fouls. So now your shot goes. You run an offense. You run a simple inbound play. You have 10 seconds to go, Kevin. Ball will be in Marcos' hands most likely. Or you look for a quick hitter to Sam in the low block, try to get Crowley I, out of the game and completely demoralize I, them. I go, I go down to Sam down low. So in the overtime, Kevin, for Beverly, it's the two points for Crowley and the three points for Abreu. So the two leading scorers for Somerville, the points came from Marcos and the free throws by Jimmy, Jimmy. on the missed three. So if I were these guys, I would bring in Davies back in for some height. There we go. Will the court get stormed if Somerville scores? Coach Antelli saying Malumba is holding Marcos. Watch for a basket to the... Oh, Whoa. I thought he was going to cut to the rim. There you go, Marcos. Let's go. If Six he wins, seconds, Kevin. Win or lose. Crosses over, pulls up. Oh! They have no timeouts. Double overtime. Double overtime. Ladies and gentlemen, the first of the time, we are once again tied at 60, headed to overtime number two. Unbelievable. There was no like, there was no flow going towards the basket on that. Marcos didn't need to pull up. He could have kept going a little bit. Maybe someone would have stepped up and then dumped it down to Sam, but hey. He still got a, a kind of a good look at, for, for a shot, so. Well, the whole thing was, their plan was, it was gonna be, you're not giving them any time. Right, Even right. though you gave them attempt on the miss, they got the offense, they got the defensive board, Abreu, right. and hit and had an attempt, but the coach Antelli's plan almost went into effect perfectly where you gave them no time on the clock. Marcos was going to be down to shoot it. I mean, yeah. these kids can shoot, man. Well, now you have both teams with the same lineup. This is a spirit, spirit win for Beverly to just get to this point in double overtime where you don't have Duncan Moreland, your second leading scorer. It's a jump ball, Sam. Now, Sam, the last, the last jump for overtime, Kevin, he completely cheated and went over the line. Let's see if he gets called for that this time. Will they let him get away with it? Not Jelani. There you go. Tap. Running Salem effectively. Again, both teams the same lineups, Kevin. Oh, Jim out of bounds. He stepped out of bounds. Turnover, Jimmy. You got to know where you are in the court. Yeah. Good call. Good call. But he was. His heel, I don't think his heel actually came down, but I think it was his over. Heel, his, heel, his heel hit before it was up in the air. He basically got up on his toes after he had a carry. No fouls, no fouls. Bounce pass in the paint. Foul will be on Marcos. Wow. 
It's a foul. It's a foul. It was a foul. Uh, definitely a foul. Well, if you guys had the game, that's the thing, rolling that's the thing, like, like, the coaches, out of bounds. Summer, coaches argue about Marcus every single Marcus call, then the referee just get like pissed off at you. That was definitely a foul, and yeah, Coach I mean, Antonio's yelling at him. I mean, he did. He would have turned the ball over on that play. Marcus at the line for Beverly for one more. Marcos getting to trying to get the crowd up. Now he wants Marcos in the paint. The box out the shooter. Walks out the shooter. Don't let the shooter get his own offensive rebound. Taking all the time with 10 seconds. Air ball. That's why you move Marcos yeah. down there. I know, like, why wouldn't he be in there in the first place? Marcos turns it over. Oh. Until he calls a timeout, so he has... Timeout, Somerville. One timeout. I think he might have two timeouts left. Marcos, goes here today was saying, Marcos, why don't you go to the wing? There was no one there. You went right into a, into the defense. There you see Lewis is your football team. There's the McEwing sign in the crowd. Big picture of McEwing. Lewis Montino, who, who was on this roster, starting quarterback. No sub so far, Kevin. Now. The ball will be, timeout was called right, so center be, court. Yeah. OK. Will the ball be in front of their bench, or will the ball be here? Looks like it's going to be in front of the bench. Right in front of the Somerville bench will be the ball to be inbound. There we go, 326 to go McEwing in the second inbounding. Time. At the hash mark. Marcos being heavily guarded by oh. Steele on Crowley. Unbelievable. 318 to go in the double overtime here. Last time Summer was a double overtime game, Kevin, was Super Bowl Sunday 03. Off Crowley. Oh, the same is off Sam. No, it was the year, it was. It would have been 03, 04, Super Bowl Sunday. Crowley with the up fake in the paint. Spin. Offensive board. Oh, my boards. God. <laughs> Box these kids out. Jeez. Eight rebounds for Abreu before that board by Sam. What is this? Can, can, we, can we move this, please? Ball's out of bounds. Blocked by 23, Kamara. Excuse me? You get, a, you get a better angle from where you are. Mr. Murph's seat. Uh, Reset. There you go. Jimmy with the ball in the wing. 10 nice. seconds on the shot clock. Jelani, power dribble, double pump can't finish. Crowley Ugly. with the board. Sam with the foul. Crowley's going to the line, Kevin. Fouls on Sam, that's five, he's done. Say goodbye to Hollywood. Fouls go, the number 21 of Somerville. Jelani Hale, his fourth personal. Well, they call that Jelani, please. <laughs> okay. You serious? Line for Beverly, number 10, Jack Crowley. But Crowley got a gift, so. True. Double bonus. Let's see if we get that replay, because. Yeah. Crowley is four for four from the line. See your replay here, Jelani. I see, okay. Maybe on the, on the way down. He goes Crowley with his second one. Sam thought the foul was on him. He put his head down. And he faded away, Kevin. That's why he holds wow. your follow through. Don't fade away, Crowley. How many? Is that his first free throw of the game? Missed, Missed yeah. Because he faded away. Hold your free He's throw. tired. Double overtime. Hold your follow through. Jelani with the ball at the top of the key. Finds Marcos on the wing. Get, gets a pick from Jimmy. Nothing there. Jakari waiting for Sam for the pick. Jakari brings it in. Jakari finds Jimmy. Two. Oh, God, no! 
That counts, right? Yes. Wow. 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 Like, that's four fouls. It was fouls. such a late call. Like, yeah. that's his fourth like, I mean, it's definitely foul. It's definitely shooting. Like, like, the referee didn't even know that it went in. He was like, wait, did it, it went in too? Count that bad boy. They are up by one now. Oh, okay. Crowley with the board. One point lead, let's go. Baseline three. Crowley almost gets it. Yeah. Oh, quick out of the Jimmy. Finish it. Get up. Get up. Oh. Uh, for three. Big board by Sam. That's huge. Now, can you, can you think what would have happened if Sam got that fifth foul? Wow. We, we wouldn't have him out there. Three-point lead. Take your time. Time and score now. Run a, run an offense. Run a, run a play. Marcos brings it in. Finds Jakari. Back to Marcos. Eight, Eight seconds. seconds. Huh? Five Ooh, seconds on the shot clock. Dumps it down to Jelani. Gets hacked. Oh, can't finish. Sam with the... No! You don't need to go up. Pull it out. Pull it out. Oh, no. That's it, Kevin. No. No foul. Wow. Crowley gets air ball. Relax. Good, good foul. Go! Gelati! Foul's called the number 23 of a Tomorrow, hey. that's three. That Offense. His third personal. Jimmy going to line, Kevin, who went one for two on the three. Pull it out and reset it to get the B round. Headed line for some Double ability. bonus for McEwing. You hit this one, Kevin, the game's over. There you go. Bring it in, Jake. Oh. Pull it out! That's what I'm saying. Over the back on Sam, he's That's done. That's what I'm saying. That's the last thing you wanted to do. Get the rebound and pull it out. So you got a foul. The clock is stopped. The best free throw shooter on the, on the game is going to the... 13 rebounds for Sam. Damn it. Sam finishes the night with 13. Fifteen points and thirteen boards, Kevin. Look at this. You get the rebound, pull it out. I... Into the game for Sam Michelle, number ten. Owen Thompson. Ah, I mean, great, great second half in overtime by Sam. So Owen is in, Kevin. Thirty seconds to go. One timeout for Beverly. Two for Somerville. Probably taking all the time. He missed his last one. That's teams, huge. Teams exhausted, Kevin. That's why when you say just keep playing your regular offense, yep. don't you don't wear down the clock. They were they were trying to get too methodical. Go to the ball. There you go. He's got a foul. Right. So you knew that, you know you were gonna foul there. Michael's gotta knock these free throws down now. Fouls go the number ten of Beverly. So Crowley's done. Jack Crowley has been personal. So head of the game for Beverly is number thirty-four, Micah Davies. And head of the line for several number thirteen, Marcos Montiel. At the line, sees a five-point lead. This twenty-seven finished Crowley. Twenty-nine point six seconds left. 
Marcos with the free throw. No. Let's make it a two possession game here, buddy. Oh, you missed them both. You don't need to go up. We call that a flagrant yeah. foul, Kevin. They definitely called it. Frustration, Beverly. So this game's over now, Kevin. Yeah. Technical foul has been assessed to number three. It's not a technical foul. foul. It's, it's an intentional foul. That is his fifth person. It's five anyway. He's out with an intention with a flagrant foul, breakaway foul, intentional foul, whatever you want to call it. Depends on the league you're in. It's two shots plus possession. So the GBL teams will be in their glory, Kevin. They'll say you beat the team that voted you out, and you got the frustration foul by Malumba. There you go, John. Ah. And they get the possession here at half court. They're going to foul right away. They still have a well, lot of time. It's not a technical foul. It's, it's an inbound. Oh, they, did, they, called it, they called a technical foul? No, they didn't call a technical foul. No, so they called a technical exactly, foul, no. they wouldn't have Jelani yeah. shoot a team. No, because they just, said he's sure. shooting. they just said he's shooting again. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's like, you know, exactly. Foul's called the number 12 of Beverly. Fouls on Burr. This first person. This first. Marcos back to the line. He's not, he's not going to miss. He's not going to miss three in a row, Kevin. You got, you got to what Beverly, you got to what Beverly's weaknesses, their depth. Yep. There you go. No fouls now. There you go. Second half, a double overtime. First half was sloppy for the Highlanders. The first half has been sloppy for the Highlanders for the entire season. But in this game, I mean, it was even more evident. Coach Angelini kept kept the kids inside the locker room for an extra five, ten minutes. Right? They didn't even have time to warm up. I don't know what he said. You're gonna find out later. But the Highlanders come out with a victory, 69-62. Um, great double overtime uh, by. By uh, Marcos, by Sam, Giovanni picked up some big minutes covering um, uh, number ten uh, Crowley later on in the second half, and that helped out um, and save some fouls for Sam uh, down the road. And he, you could tell he needed every single foul. But it was a great game all around. That puts the Hunters at ten and two, so they they qualify for the tournament right now. Brings uh, Beverly to eight and four, and like you've been saying, Jeff. Um, you got a, a game coming up against Salem, um, real quick and unbelievable. What do you got for? Uh, Hold on. Uh, so this, to get this out of the way right now. So this Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday, both Jeff and I would be at Tufts University, where uh, Medford will be hosting the Highlanders at Tufts uh, University for that game. That game is going to be is it 12:30. Jeff doesn't know. Hopefully it's 12.30. Hopefully it's not like 4.30. Like hey, it, could, it could be tomorrow night for all we know. <laughs> but anyways, go ahead, Jeff. All okay. right. <laughs> for Beverly. Two points for Kamara. 
who had a lot of attempts, just kept missing in the overtime. Three points for Davies, who I thought was going to get much more playing time. So something yeah. must have happened with him because he's your other power forward who, yeah. didn't, who didn't, didn't come back in. He didn't play well at all in the second half. Four points for Malamba, who fouled out with the intentional foul. Boris with six, and your two stars, Abreu, 20, and 27 for Crowley. And again, you didn't have Duncan Borland, so that was a huge loss for Beverly as they're changing right here on the court. Can they go to, can they go to a classroom or something? Nine for 16 from the free throw line for Somerville. Five points for Muhammad, who didn't play at all in the two overtimes. Jake with big five points. Well, they, they didn't play, they didn't change the lineups at all. Jake came in quickly, but Muhammad didn't come in. Six points for Jelani, who had huge rebounds, had nine rebounds. Six points for Jakari. Ten points for McEwing, who hit three free throws and a total of five, five points in the overtime, in the two overtimes. Jimmy. 15 points for Sam, 13 boards, and leading the way, Marcos. Now, if you look at Beverly, you had everything under control in the first half. Marcos only had two points. Yep. Okay, so in the second half, he scores 20 points on you in the second half. So that's one thing they need to look at defensively. You needed to switch up. You had Malumba on him the whole time. You could have rotated players on him. And, and, he, get, and you know, he got tired, yeah. Antonelli's game plan got the best of you, and he scored 20 points in the second half. Somerville went 16 for 28 from the line. So that's where things stand. Now you go to seven and two in the conference. These guys fall in their conference there in the north. So in the south, seven and two. Don't have Medford who they're playing tonight. We don't know who Salem is playing tonight, what their result was. So this is where it all happens. You still, some of will still play Medford and Salem. Right. So they're still playing them. Their losses, Medford, the thing that's gonna hurt Medford in the conference is Medford's loss was to Salem. So that's what hurts them in the conference. So Salem has the upper hand right. where they still have to play Somerville. Now Somerville has to play in Medford, technically it's a road game, okay, and Salem. So Somerville has the disadvantage of having both road games. But you look at this incredible effort. Yeah, the Salem game is um, at Salem on yeah. February 8th. On February, so. on February 8th, and that will be senior night here for the girls. Hopefully, it could be this Thursday, who knows? <laughs> it's happened before. One time for the soccer team, you always say the senior night is the last game of the year. Right. Senior night was like two games before the last game of the soccer season. Why do they do that? Please. Did you lose sleep? Tim Cronin did, he was very upset. He didn't have his camera ready. Anyway. <laughs> so, that's the story, Kevin. That is the story. Double overtime win. You, like you said, they qualify for the tournament, which is you know was a goal, but it was never in question that they're right. going to qualify for the tournament with the amount of talent they have and the schedule you have. So you know that that was your that was goal start the year. Goal number one, hoop fest. Goal number two, ten wins. Mm -hmm. Goal number three is the self. Okay, and then of course goal number four is advance in the tournament bracket, where last year you lost to. Woburn and didn't get a chance for revenge against Beverly. So you got your revenge against Beverly for losing last year. Mm -hmm. You got your revenge against Beverly for them voting you out of the conference. And there you go. There you have it. There you have it. Excellent win for the Highlanders, a double overtime to keep it with a 10-game winning streak. For Jeff Argenziano, I am Kevin Scott. Have a good night.